Johnny Armstrong, was a Scottish raider and folk hero, in the 16th century. He was a member of the powerful Armstrong family, and led a band of 160 men. He was known for his raids along the Anglo-Scottish border and for operating with impunity under the protection of the fifth Lord Maxwell. Armstrong was a notorious plunderer and raider, operating in the lawless Anglo-Scottish border in the early 16th century, before England and Scotland were joined by the Union of the Crowns. Like his fellow ravers, he raided into England when Scotland was in the ascendancy, and would change allegiances as power shifted. Despite having no income from rents, he led a band of 160 men. However, his actions made the central authority look weak and hindered diplomacy with England. In 1527, he burnt Netherby in Cumberland, in return for which William Dacre, 3rd Baron Dacre burnt him out at Cannonby in 1528. Gavin Dunbar, the Archbishop of Glasgow as well as Chancellor of Scotland, intervened with an excommunication for Armstrong, whose activities made the central authority look weak and were a hindrance to diplomacy with England. When King James V took personal control of the situation, Armstrong and his men were dealt with severely, as rebels. In 1530, Armstrong was captured. The king had promised him safe conduct, but he was hanged with 36 of his men at Caerlanrig Chapel. A memorial to Armstrong, and his men stands in the chapel graveyard. The romanticized picture of Armstrong was promoted by the 19th-century writings of Sir Walter Scott and Herbert Maxwell. However, despite the negative portrayal of him as a violent raider, many locals viewed him as a folk hero, who stood up against the English and protected Scotland. The Ballad of Johnny Armstrong, one of many border ballads dealing with the ravers, relates that the king sends him a letter, requesting his presence at court and promising him safety. Johnny is fooled by this honour and orders his men to dress richly, as befits the court. On their arrival, Johnny asks for a pardon, but instead the king tries to arrest them, and Armstrong orders them to fight. They are all killed, although Johnny is brought down only by a treacherous attack from behind. Johnny Armstrong was a complex figure in Scottish history. He was a notorious raider and plunderer, but also a folk hero to many locals who viewed him as a protector of Scotland. His story continues to be told in the famous ballad The Ballad of Johnny Armstrong and in the play Armstrong's Last Good Night by John Arden.